Good morning. How's everybody today? What's happening in Gangsterland? I hope everybody's doing well. What's happening out there? Anything good? I always tell you guys what I'm doing, but do you tell me what you're doing? <laughs> Anybody getting married? Don't do it, Ron! <laughs> So I have to go up to the shops in a little bit to pay my internet bill and I need to go to town to pay my phone bill but I'm not going until Tuesday or Wednesday because uh, there's a holiday on this weekend. It's called uh, Kalpansa. What is Kalpansa? Um, it's, a hol it's a Buddhist holiday. It uh, goes all the way back to Buddha of course and it's about the monks stay from t from this weekend, they stay at the temple. They don't walk around on the roads. And why is that? Because in the, back in the day, um, there was no roads. There was only paths through, path through the farmer's fields. And the farmers complained and said that the monks were destroying their crops. So Buddha said, okay, don't upset the people. Stay in the temple during rainy season. So technically, this is the beginning Kalpensa holiday this weekend is technically the start of rainy season. I'm led to believe, I'm told. So Kalpensa starts this weekend based on the Buddhist holiday. Buddha saying stay in the temple for three months so you don't damage the crops because everything's soaking wet. Interesting. I didn't know that, just learned that in the last few days. Actually, I knew what Kalpensa, I heard of it many times, but I didn't really understand it. I just knew it was a Buddhist holiday. So that's this, that's this weekend, the official start of rainy season. Even though it hasn't rained for a few days. <laughs> Okay guys, home again, went up to uh, the village and paid my internet bill and then drove over to um, Angtong to Big C to have something neat. Here's my food. Okay guys, I come to get some food at Big C. I got a little bit different today. It's still um, basil stir fry, but I got rice instead of noodles. Definitely different. Normally uh, I don't have spice, but he's put a little bit of extra spice in today, which is not hot. It's just, you can taste it, but it's not hot. Very nice. You have to come here and try this food. Very right? good. <laughs> While I was at in the canteen, I met a guy called Lawrence from Sweden. He works for a rubber company. They um, or he work he works with rubber. They have outsourced rubber components to Thailand and Asia. But he works. He's obviously from Sweden. And um, what's the Swedish truck? I forgot the name of the Swedish truck now. Anyway, um, Volvo, 
so the uh, all the different seals I guess window window uh, windscreen and window seals things like that door seals they outsource and they buy it from Asia Thailand and so on and his job is to travel around he's here right now on holiday he's uh, um, he said he's been coming to Thailand for 10 years he's traveled here about 30 times and he's married to a Thai lady and you know something generally if I see Phalang foreigners I don't speak to him anymore not because I'm nasty because I find most foreigners are very very rude and um, he said the same thing so I was waiting for I was waiting for my food to be cooked and you ever feel that feeling that somebody's looking at you so I just happened to look over my right shoulder and he was sat there and big old smile on his face so I smiled back and waved and then when I got my food I went and sat down not far from him and went over and said hi very friendly really nice guy from Sweden and um, it was a pleasure to meet he, he's now become a subscriber <laughs> and I hope he's pressed the bell and a really nice guy Lawrence and um, very nice wife so it was a pleasure to meet you both and uh, I hope you have a nice holiday while you're here it was a pleasure I just wanted to mention that um, you know that bug I had I'm pretty I'm 99% sure it was walking pneumonia because I've had it before and it's totally zaps your energy I guess it has a lot to do with you know your lung capacity and if you don't get oxygen there's no energy right so but um, last two days I've felt very good today even better you know for you know when I was in the depth of it all zero energy you don't want to do nothing everything's too much trouble lethargic etc etc but today I'm starting to think about the um, the Avery and I went back to the wood yard to talk about the wood and to see the guys because uh, you know I've kind of become friends with them they're a real good laugh and have another look at the bike um, somebody's interested in it so I went back to look at it again um, that, that uh, cart thing whatever you want to call it um, bicycle taxi rickshaw yeah so um, but no coughing the only time I cough really was when I went to get something to eat somebody was cooking hot spicy food and that spice was in the air it's almost like a you know NBC nuclear biological chemical warfare it's almost like that when they cook that real hot spicy stuff it just makes my lungs stop working really I don't know how people eat that stuff so spicy but anyway other than that nothing and I'm starting to think about I have energy but I want to make sure I leave out everything alone until Wednesday until I think it's completely gone and then I'll slowly start going normally I'd be working already but I can tell you that pneumonia stuff is no joke when you can't breathe properly um, you know I didn't I bought an inhaler the blue Ventolin but I didn't and I never used it I didn't even open it but I have it for an emergency I guess but um, if you ever have that be careful okay guys there goes another day I hope you all have a wonderful day look after yourselves buckets of blessings every night is the same rivers of joy peace and kindness see you in the morning look after yourselves all the best Bye.